As a ninth grader in 2010, she became the youngest winner of the WA Amateur Open. And then in 2015, just a week before her 19th birthday, she got her first LPGA Tour victory at the Kingsmill Championship. And since that day, this girl has never been afraid to dream big. Now, if you're wondering who we're talking about, then it's none other than our favorite Australian pro golfer, Minji Lee. Even though she's only 27 years old, she has already won two majors and a bunch of other championships. And with all that victory money, she's living one heck of a luxurious lifestyle. Hey guys, welcome back to Golf 365, where we fill you in on all the latest golf news. In this video, we're looking at Minji Lee's incredible golf swing, all the records she's broken, and her extravagant lifestyle. So, how much is this Australian girl worth? Well, you'll have to wait a minute before we answer that question. First off, let's look at her golf career. Like we mentioned, Minji won the WA Amateur Open while she was still studying at Methodist Ladies College in Perth. After that, at the start of 2012, she moved to the MLC to Corpus Christi College, just to be closer to her beloved golf course at Royal Fremantle. That year, Minji won the U.S. Girls Junior Championship. In fact, she was the first Australian to ever win that title. In 2013, she won the Australian Women's Amateur and almost made it look too easy when she defended the glorious title in 2014. At that point, she was already the number one ranked amateur golfer in the country. And get this, she even won the Oates Victorian Open at the ALPG Tour. Even though she's been playing a few pro tournaments already, she officially turned pro in September 2014, right after she led the Australian team to victory and brought the Espirito Santo trophy home. That's right, she represents her country with pride. In 2012 and 2014, Minji was called up to represent Australia at the Women's World Amateur Team's Championship. The first time, Minji was just 16 years old, but she still successfully took her team to the third position tied with Finland. Later in 2014, the rising star knew exactly how to get the Aussies to the gold middle and will never forget how they defeated Canada by two beautiful strokes. If that wasn't enough, then Minji has already represented Australia at two Olympic Games as well. At Rio 2016, she finished T7, and at Tokyo 2021, she missed out on the medal discussion and ended up finishing T29. But if you know anything about the Olympics, then you'd understand that even finishing T29 is a pretty big deal there, especially if you're just 24 years old. So where does this love for golf come from? It's pretty clear Minji has the kind of passion for the sport that you just don't see in every player. And of course, it comes from her family. She grew up in a family full of golfers where her parents and older brother all love playing the sport. Following in their footsteps, Minji held her first golf club when she was just five years old. And the rest is basically history. By the time she reached her teens, this Aussie was already competing in national and international tournaments. She didn't seem intimidated by all the older competitors. In fact, she's always been calm and composed on the greens almost as if this is her one true calling. Speaking of family, Minji also has a younger brother named Min Woo Lee. If that name sounds familiar, then that's because he won the 2016 U.S. Junior Amateur, making them the first brother-sister duo to ever win the USGA's Junior Championships. Talk about a family full of talented athletes. Now, how is Minji's pro career turning out for her? By the looks of it, this girl belongs on the greens. Just a few months after she turned pro in 2015, she won her first LPGA Tour victory at the Kings Mill Championship. Then 2016 seemed to be quite a good year for the young Aussie because she won the Lottie Championship in April and then bagged the Blue Bay LPGA in October. After that, in April 2018, Minji lost the LPGA Mediheal Championship in a playoff to Lydia Ko. At that point, everyone thought that the new girl's win streak was over and she was just a one-hit wonder like many others. But hey, it didn't take long for her to prove everyone wrong. Just a month later in May 2018, she won the LPGA Volvic Championship, and she was back on track. Even though she was still a young golfer back then, she still finished 2018 ranked second on the infamous money list with her whopping $1.5 million in career earnings. And interestingly enough, she also finished second in scoring average with an impressive score of 69.75 shots per round. Just when Minji thought 2018 couldn't get any better than that, she also became the first ever woman to win the Greg Norman medal for being the best Australian professional golfer on the world stage. Now that's a huge achievement. 
and it only motivated her even more. In 2019, she bagged her fifth LPGA Tour victory when she won the Hugo Air Premier LA Open, and by the middle of that year, she was already ranking at number two in the Women's World Golf Rankings. With an achievement that big, you'd probably expect that everyone in Australia would be rooting for her. But unfortunately, many didn't even know who she was. In fact, she had such a low profile in her home country that she was described as the invisible champion of Australia. Ouch! But hey, absolutely nothing can stop this girl from making her dreams come true. After all those years of practicing and wins, Minji finally won her first major championship in 2021 at the Amundi Evian Championship. She came from seven strokes behind in the final round and defeated Lee Yong Yung on the first playoff hole. Then, she won her seventh LPGA Tour event at the Cognizant Founders Cup in 2022, where she beat Lexi Thompson by two strokes, ending it all with 269, 19 under par, to Lexi's 271. And get this, it was her eighth LPGA Tour win at the US Open in 2022 that earned her the biggest paycheck in the history of women's golf. That's right, it was $1.8 million of the $10 million purse. And apart from all that bank, she even ended up setting a new record of 271. Now, a normal person like you and me might think that these two huge achievements are enough for one year, but Minji wouldn't agree with us, because in November 2022, she went ahead and won the season-long Aeon Risk Reward Challenge and put another million dollars straight into her bank account for the 2022 LPGA Tour season. If you don't know what the Risk Reward Challenge is, then it basically includes selecting one hole in every participating event and designating it as the risk reward hole for that week. Then, after the entire season, they reward the player with the best two scores from every participating event that a player competed in. In simpler words, it rewards a player for their consistency. And there's no better example of that than our determined little Aussie. But hey, despite all those big wins, Minji still struggles with one thing, and that's getting the Australians to notice her. It's pretty sad to see that she can't even pick up an Australian sponsor. Instead, she plays on the greens plastered in corporate logos of a string of overseas companies like Aon and WAAC, right down to the huge Hana on her cap representing a huge Korean bank who values her South Korean heritage. But of course, no matter what happens, Minji isn't one to dwell over the lack of support from home. In fact, you'll always see her getting on with the day with her jaunty walk, bright clothes, and easy smile. In one interview, she said that if you think about all the successful Australian players, none of them have any Australian sponsors. She said that it's pretty poor in that sense, but we're guessing she doesn't think about it too much. Because when you have a net worth of $7.3 million, you don't really have time to care about who sponsoring you and who isn't. So how is Minji spending all that money? With a net worth that big, you'd probably expect this 27-year-old to be spending her money on anything and everything. In fact, when we first heard about how she landed in the top 10 of LPGA's money list for five consecutive years, we just knew that this girl either had a mansion for a home or a fleet that'll have us drooling over the screen. But alas, we were wrong. Minji calls herself an introvert, and that's probably the reason why we don't know much about how this girl likes to spend her money. She's the kind of person who values her privacy and keeps her career separate from her personal life with a thick black line. But even if we don't know much about what asset she owns and what car she drives, we do know that she donated a huge amount to Golf Australia's Give Back Scheme in 2021. That means she's dedicated to help fund elite amateur golf in Australia, and if we're being honest, then that's the nicest thing we've heard all day. So, will Minji rise to the top and become number one in the world? According to her, it has a nice ring to it, but she's not holding her breath. For her, all that matters is working on her game and improving. Everything else will come with time. And that's a wrap for this video. Do you think Minji is on her way to win any majors in 2023? How does she compete against Grace Karras? Let us know in the comments below. And hey, speaking of Grace, did you know that she has a secret life that she's been hiding from the public? Find us in the next video as we spill some huge secrets.